Hi everyone, this is Freda Cooper, Shana's mom. I know most of you remembered me and I miss all of you. I'm gonna read you a special story. It's called The Book with No Pictures. So let me turn. This is a, let me turn this page. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. Oh my goodness, no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious. Except, here is how books work. Everything the world say, the person's reading the book has to say. No matter what. That's the deal, that's the rule. So that means even if the words say, blark, <laughs> wait, what? That doesn't mean anything. Blurf, wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say, every word the book says, oh no, or oy vey. <laughs> I have a monkey who taught myself how to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And now I'm reading you this book with monkey mouth and my monkey's voice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not true. I'm not a monkey. We usually see monkeys at the zoo. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I'm a robot monkey. Robot, robot. And my head is made out of blueberry pizza. That's silly. Wait a second. Is this a whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No. No. Glug, glug, glug. My face is a bug. What kind of bug could that be? Could it be a ladybug? A beetle? Or maybe a cockroach? I eat ants for breakfast. Oh, I got a tummy ache if I eat ants for breakfast. Right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous, right, Lucy? There's Lucy, my dog. <laughs> and can I stop reading yet? No. There are more pages I have to read the rest. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. That's a silly name. We shouldn't say those words. And also, the kid I'm reading this book is to is the best kid ever in the whole wide world. And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this kind, this kid chose this book even though it had. No pictures. What are we gonna do? No pictures in a book? How boring. Because kids know this is a book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds. And glop. That sounds like the pop out fish, but it isn't. Oh no, no, here it comes. Oh no, look at all these funny words. I bet you can think about what kind of words that you want to say to your mom. Lippity gloppity gloop gloop dicky gaka gloop gloop. Those are all silly words. And the blah. Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. This book again is so silly. And in fact, it completely and utterly per. Posterous. That's a big word, you know, even for me. Next time, please, please, please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. So I miss all of you. I hope to see you again. And stay, and I hope everybody's having fun. And remember to wash your hands. Even Lucy washes her hands. And, but she can't sing happy birthday. I have to sing it for her. Okay, bye everybody.